A little over a year ago, I did a short video on a do-it-yourself track saw guide that was an improvement over the usual circular saw guide that uses two pieces of plywood, one on top of the other that gives you a straight edge to run the base plate of your circular saw against. Well, this is an improvement on that video, using a sliding dovetail. Welcome to Franklin Woodworks. Stick around and I'll show you how I do it. I start by changing the blade angle of my table saw to 10 degrees. Then using half inch MDF, I cut a strip three and a half inches wide, making sure the angles on each side are opposing, creating a dovetail. Then over to the miter saw to cut a 16 inch piece. This piece will be attached to the base plate of my circular saw. It was also at this point I realized as dust was spraying in my face that I was not using a dust mask. Bad news, but especially when cutting MDF. So for all you dust police, I used a mask for the rest of the project. Next, I reset my blade angle back to perpendicular to the table and ripped the rest of the dovetail piece in half. I also cut a nine inch wide piece that will be the base for the guide. Then back over to the miter saw to cut them all to length. This guide will be five feet long for use when cutting down smaller pieces of plywood. I also made one that is eight feet long, but a smaller one is a good idea when you're cramped for space in your shop. I went a little overboard on the assembly. Although there is a straight factory edge, I still like to use a separate straight edge so that I can have a wide, thin area for clamping. I figure anything worth doing is worth overdoing. I put a line of glue on one of the dovetail strips, making sure not to put the glue too close to the dovetail cut. Glue squeeze out would be disastrous inside a sliding dovetail, so it's best to avoid it altogether. I shoot some 3 quarter inch brads with the nail gun to hold it secure until the glue dries. Then, using the 16 inch base plate as a guide, I glue and nail the other dovetail strips sliding the plate as I go also being careful of the glue squeeze out and making sure it's snug but not too tight. One thing to consider when shooting the nails is that part of the strip is going to be cut off when you create the guiding edge. So make sure your nails are closer to the dovetail edge so your blade doesn't get ruined by running through nails. When you're done, your base plate should slide smoothly with no racking. Now it's time to attach the base plate to the circular saw. I have to admit, this is the most challenging and time consuming part of the whole build. You may have to drill some holes in your saw's base plate like I did, and then you have to make sure the MDF plate is dead square to the blade. This will take some doing, so be patient and keep at it until it's right. As you see on my saw, I like to have a long section of the MDF plate out in front of the saw. That is so the saw is completely stabilized by the time you begin making your cut. The problem with the really simple circular saw guides is that the beginning of the cut is difficult to start cleanly, and this longer base plate solves that problem. Now the moment of truth. Making the initial cut which creates your guide edge, the saw slides smoothly with no racking, and remains perpendicular throughout the cut, and it's dead straight. Now to use the guide, all you have to do is line up the edge on your marks, clamp it securely, and make the cut. I hope this gives you some good ideas on how to make things easier in your shop. Feel free to comment, and please subscribe.